Jubilee House meeting forms part of government's effort to engage civil society organizations, CSOs, on matters of national concern. On the table were a number of issues, especially on corruption and how the CSOs can support in the fight. Nano Sebun said the acting Auditor General must be given the substantive role to strengthen the fight against corruption. On the GMPC Aka Energy deal, Nano Sebun expressed the determination of the group to help government fashion out a strategy to help government to achieve value for money. Government must also demonstrate that there is a personal price to pay for corruption by speeding up the investigation and prosecution of corruption cases as well as asset recovery approaches of corruption. However, we will have to be more radical in our efforts to achieve results in the short term if Ghana is to deliver a big blow against corruption. President Dekufado said the Auditor General's report will receive the necessary attention. On the confirmation of the appointment of the Acting Auditor General, the President disclosed that his administration has initiated a process expected to lead to Mr. Johnson Akwiamu Sidu's confirmation as a substantive Auditor General. First of all, the position of the Auditor General. I think we're all aware of the circumstances in which the first Auditor General, when I say the first, the first Auditor General of my time, left office. I believe the one who succeeded him, who came to succeed him by natural order in, 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 in the hierarchy there, has not demonstrated sufficient quality, independence of view. For instance, he's responsible for something that is unheard of in our history, the 12 statutory reports that have to be compiled and placed before Parliament in the year of Parliament. This is the first time it has ever been done. Even the much touted Auditor General before never managed to do it. This one has done it. I think that on the basis of the work that he has done and the and the and the, the independence with which he has gone around his work, if today efforts are made to confirm him, which I believe should be done. The president said his administration will continue to support institutions created by the constitution to fight corruption. We have a Ghana where people can raise and discuss these issues as much as possible and as hopefully as dispassionate and as uh, 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 based in manner as possible. And uh, I, for one, am very, very thankful that we have arrived at this situation in Ghana, and I think that all of us have a responsibility to make sure that it continues, that um, the, the difficult exercise of trying to build democratic institutions and democratic values in poor countries, essentially our country is still a poor country, is something that we will continue to hold fast to the commitment to do so. The election of MMDCs, the state of the country's corruption fight, limitations on the 1992 constitution, among other issues, were also discussed.